Sup guys, Jim the Game Guru, your video game and board game nerd here, and congratulations Gary Wilson, you get a hat in time on Nintendo Switch. From the giveaway, you are the winner, I will have this out to you shortly. Have this in the mail, you should have it hopefully within the week. Um, Alright, a couple of things coming up here, I have some compilation videos that I'm working on for the Nintendo Switch. I've got 57 race games on the Nintendo Switch, all in different categories, trying to make it something for everyone. The other thing I have going on is another compilation video with, instead of the local co-op games, I am going to do local competitive games. I had a subscriber reach out and say, hey, would you mind putting together a video? Can you tell me all the games that are local competitive? So I'm gonna put together a video like that that has those games. So another video I'm also working on is gonna be a compilation video of board games. And I should hopefully have that within the next week or two. So those are some of the cool videos I've got coming up along with gameplay videos for stuff. But today we're gonna to talk about snake oil. Yes, snake oil. It is a party game. I think maybe I've covered one or two other party games on this channel, but here's another party game, Snake Oil, and I have its little baby expansion right here called Crude Oil. Crude Oil, there we go. I always have to go the opposite way for some reason. Uh, so Crude Oil and Snake Oil. Now, Crude Oil's got some really explicit cards in it, like obviously the, like all the bad words and some cards that are, could be very, very sensitive to some viewers. So I will be showing you these components of both the base game and the expansion. Uh, I will warn you though from this being very explicit and very, you know, could be sensitive to people that you may, when you get to this part with the crude oil, you may want to skip it if you're, if you're kind of sensitive to that kind of stuff. What is snake oil all about? I kind of feel like it's more it's more like an alternative to Cards Against Humanity. And it does not play exactly the same as that game. It's a little different. There are no real mechanical things in here, like no strategy. It's not really a deep game at all. It's very, very, very simplistic. This game is all about the social aspect. You have to be really, really socially engaged in this game. If you're playing with a group of people that are not involved at all, they don't care, they don't want to play a game, whatever, it's like a lot of party games, it could be a bust. The party games usually depend on everyone's mood, the group you're working with, and how involved everyone is in the game. This one requires that. It requires heavy, heavy participation. So in this game, what you do is you have a customer. So somebody plays the role of a customer and everyone in your group is gonna rotate being the customer. And everyone else has cards that they have to combine two cards together to make a product and you have to pitch a product to the customer and the person that ends up having the best pitch, wins the customer card from that customer. At the very end of the game, if you're the one that has the most customer cards in possession, that means you had the best pitches and you win the game. It's very, very, very simple. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and show you some of the components. Uh, I'm gonna cover the regular and the hardcore crude expansion. If you guys are new to this channel, please subscribe. Your free subscriptions help small YouTubers like me grow tremendously. So I appreciate your support. And let's go ahead and dig into some of the components and take a look, see what's in Snake Oil, the party game. All right, let's dig into some crude oil. I'm not gonna do a simulation play on this game because the gameplay is very, very simple. You have people in a group. Each person gets like five cards you combo the two cards together and make a product and you pitch it to a customer. Very, very simple. I don't think I should, I should feel that I should have to put a simulation game for that. Um, so let's just go ahead and open the box up and let's go ahead and just look at the components here. So there's a very simple manual here. It's, yeah, that's how easy the game is. When, when, when you don't even get, when it's not even a book, it's a pamphlet, then yeah, 
Very, very simple to play. So these right here are the customer cards. And then what you have is you have four decks of regular word cards that are gonna be, that you'd shuffle up and you'd have available, you you distribute them, you'll deal them out to the players at the very beginning. And then after people make words, after, I'm sorry, not words, but after they make their products from two words, then what happens is they'll end up drawing two more cards when the when the next pitch comes. So let's take a look at some of these customers here. So this being the very family party game, because if, if you look on the, so before I dig into here, so if you look at the box here, you can see what <laughs> Hasbro, right? There you go, Hasbro. So Hasbro, uh, they usually like to slap their name on family-oriented games that are pretty safe. So this base game is going to be very, very family-friendly. The words are not going to be risky at all, even whether it's the customer words or whether the regular words. Now this, if we look at this, the expansion, look, adult expansion. Crude oil here. And look, you don't see Hasbro anywhere near that. But yeah, Hasbro is not going to touch this with a 10 foot pole and you'll see why when i open up this pack later on to show you the words all right so let's take a look at some of the customers we got hitchhiker babysitter superhero santa alien geek castaway sorority girl newlywed kindergartner cowboy beggar politician rapper diva runaway teacher secret admirer tree hugger priest senior citizen protester pregnant woman Beach bum, fashion model, prom date, high school dropout, pirate. And it looks like they have some blank cards here too. I'm guessing that these, my guess is that these blank cards you can use to create your own customers. So if you want to write on those and create your own customers, you can do that. Uh, there's also other ones on the back like hunter, pro wrestler, gangster, prison guard, soldier, um, executioner, vampire, and there's a bunch. So dumpster diver, billionaire. Grave or Hubbard, Teenager, Party Host, Zombie, uh, Cheerleader, Couch Potato. So very, very safe customer words. So everybody in your group will get will end up rotating and being a customer. You shuffle these cards, they they draw one, uh, and then the next person goes after that after that round is over with all the pitches, and then the next person draws a customer card and so on. Uh, okay, so Let's get to the regular words. Now, I'm not going to go through each one of these decks and show you the words because that would just be silly because you you would get bored of tears with that, right? So I'm just going to do a quick flip through just to show you, you know, really, really fast. You know, things like table, butter, prize, tongue, friend, machine, tear, gum, excuse, bridge, shadow, fluid, cream, tape, rock, glue, paw, snow, sun. Okay. So very, very safe words. When you mix certain, like two words together, I'm sure you can get into some really funny situations where you're like, oh, wow. Like that would be hilarious. Um, this game is actually very flexible in the rules too. You can play the five cards or six cards per person, or you can make it whatever you want to make it. So if you want to make it like 10 cards per person to give people more of a variety of words to put together that could be hilarious, then do 10, do 15 cards per person. I mean, there's so many darn cards in here anyway that you have a little bit of a, a leeway for that. So this other stack, corpse, bricks, exercise, toilet, rumor, wind, rope, uh, let's see, space, poster, toy, Remote, clock, cloak, death, slime, tent, work. Okay, so a lot of very, a lot of uh, words and cards to use. Now, these ones are still wrapped. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but you get the idea with them. So you have these words. These are the ones that people will draw to combo together two cards to make a product and pitch it to the customer. So let's get to the crude ones because those are the ones that are a little bit more exciting. Uh, they are also very, very, could be very offensive to some people. So I'm gonna warn you right now, I am not affiliated with this, this game at all. I, I am just the messenger here. I'm just showing you guys the cards. So please do not shoot the messenger. All right, 
So here we go. Let's go. Let's go look at. Let's look at some of the customer ones. Again, these cards could be very offensive to people. So if you don't want to see stuff like that, please turn away now or go to a different video. All right. So we have hoarder, frat boy, Hitler, Republican, skinny dipper, streaker, kidnapper, slave, god, illegal immigrant, addict, drag queen, stalker, snake oil salesman, porn star, terrorist, serial killer polygamist, kamikaze, cult leader, peeping Tom, the devil, drunk driver, carny, human sacrifice, drug dealer, democrat, dominatrix, death row inmate, stripper. Okay, so those are the customer cards. Now they say you can mix this game, like the, mix the expansion with the, the base, I think with this game, it all depends on who you're playing with. So I would review the cards first, and I'm going to go through these other, these the basic word cards here too. But I would re review the cards knowing what cards are in this expansion and knowing who your audience is and your group that you're playing with. You may not really want to mix this with the base game unless you know your group will not be easily offended. The other thing too is when you, if you do mix this expansion with the base game, then don't mix it all of the base game with this because what happens is you end up diluting the crude oil expansion and you don't want to dilute it so you probably want to do mix it with maybe the same amount of cards as the base game i would probably say less so this looks like it's about two decks that are in the base game as far as size wise but i would probably do like maybe a deck or a deck and a half or something from the base game and mix it with this. That way you still have a, a good number of the crude to distribute amongst everyone else. Okay, so let's go over some of these words really fast. Uh, cocktail, software, porn, megaphone, funeral, abortion, lawsuit, latte, blowjob, minority blog, investment, uh, autopsy. I'm not going to hit every single word here. Let's try to... Clitoris. Wow. Um, Tierra Beacon Crucifix, uh, Barbecue, Diversity, Gag, Orgy, Nipple, Titty, Maggot, Insurance, Jihad, Humiliation, Torture, Virgin, Internship, Evidence, Termite, uh, Allergy, Antlers, uh, Spanking, uh, we'll see accident crisis you can see there's a lot of sexual and i guess every time there's crude with these party games for some reason there has to be sexual words that need to be in there uh meth tournament propaganda mistletoe let's see what we guess here uh mob sin and condom depression panty distraction morality fraternity radiation wine sex app bitch alibi cock Lesbian, sermon, kennel, drug, prescription, tampon, and let's see, droid, conspiracy, limousine, cancer, tomahawk, cum, career, honeymoon, gauge, tobacco, and see, voodoo, and graffiti, and etc. Hangover, demon therapy. Okay, so as you can see, it is crude for a reason. There's a lot of crude words. There is the crude oil expansion with its crude cards and crude customer cards and then we have also the base game of snake oil uh the expansion is not very expensive it's about 12 dollars i think i think i bought it for 12 bucks this game i can't remember what the base game is it was anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars or something it might be a little bit more now because i feel like board games are so much higher priced now with covid and people are getting together playing more board games but that is Snake Oil. This is an alternative game to something like Cards Against Humanity. So if you want something a little different and you're done playing those type of games, this is about pitching to a customer. It is very, very social. It's very, very, um, you need to be engaged in this game or else it's just not going to be that fun. That's it, guys. I'm Jim the Game Guru, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.